The following message is from Shaila Touchstone from Emmanuel Duane Ministries, Florida. Today's topic is Fruits of the Holy Spirit and Fruits of the Evil Spirit. The fruits of the Spirit is the sign of a true faith and true walk with Christ. Galatians 5 22 is to 23 says that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Jesus used the example of a good tree and an evil tree. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs for thistles? Even so, every good tree bring forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bring forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that brings not forth good fruit is heaved down and cast into fire, wherefore by their fruits he shall know them. Matthew 7 verses 16 to 20. The evil spirits are disembodied spirits who were casted out of heaven with Satan, who became his angels. Only when a person distances himself from God by a sinful way of life and plunges into the darkness of disbelief and the passions he is inviting evil spirit in his life. When an evil spirit enters into a person, he remains in his sins and is controlled by his sins. There will be all kinds of sicknesses, diseases, rebellion, stubbornness, troubles, etc. occurs. When God removes his protective hand, he often turns the person over to Satan for destruction or to an evil spirit for tormenting. The Bible has many names of evil spirits. Deaf and dumb spirit, evil spirit, familiar spirit, foul spirit, lying spirit, perverse spirit, seducing spirit, spirit of an unclean devil, Spirit of an Antichrist, Spirit of Bondage, Spirit of Death, Spirit of Divination, Spirit of Error, Spirit of Fear, Spirit of Haughtiness, Spirit of Heaviness, Spirit of Infirmity, Spirit of Jealousy, Spirit of Slumber, Spirit of the World, Spirit of Oredoms, unclean spirits an evil spirit is a an evil spirit in a person can be removed in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ and by the power of the holy spirit and through his blood when evil spirit is casted out in a person it's extremely vital to be filled with the holy spirit which is to be filled with christ by walking in a light as Christ is the light and the blood of Jesus Christ will cleanse from all unrighteousness. Ephesians 2 is to 2, 2, is to 2 says wherein in the time past he walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of the air the spirit now walked in the children of disobedience the Holy Spirit convicts us of our sin and moves in the life of the believer to equip him or her in the service of God. We repent and take a decision to turn away from our sins and walk towards God, bearing a good fruit and reaping the harvest of righteousness. If the evil spirit is not replaced by the Holy Spirit, as Matthew 12 to 45 says, then it goes and takes with it seven other spirits more wicked than itself and they go in hand and then live there and the final condition of the man is worse than the first 
that is how it will be with his with this kind of a wicked generation but through jesus christ now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of god that we might know the things that are freely given to us by god fruits of the evil spirits are the gifts of the holy spirit can be imitated by demonic powers because satan can also perform great miracles since satan disguises himself as an angel of light many people who profess to be christian are led astray by evil spirits and have departed from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils speaking lies and hypocrisy having their conscience seared with hot iron fruits of evil spirits are less viciousness lust fornication excess of wine drinking murder stealing lying cheating gossiping slandering gluttony idolatry you name it Ephesians 4 is to 27 says that we must neither give place or a ground to the devil resist the devil and he will flee from you amen